This is the 11th video in a series intended to teach you how to use the resources of the Family Search Research Wiki to help locate genealogical records about your ancestors who lived in Germany. In Part 7, you learned about Germany Wiki Province pages, and one section of those pages dealt with civil registration. Civil registration records are government records covering birth, marriage, and death. In order to use them, you need to find out where the Standesamt or Civil Registry Office was for your locality. This is the 1871 Myers Gazetteer that you used to find the original Standesamt, German for Civil Registry Office. After entering the name of the town you're interested in, you will get a list of all the towns by that name. This shows a typical entry. Down at the bottom, you will find the abbreviation STDA, which stands for Standesamt, and in this case, it tells you that the Standesamt is right in the town. In this instance of Lorsch, which is just a small village, the information explains to you that the Standesamt is in a different town. A Germany province page is going to show you all the different online digital records collections. You will find collections that were put on by archives or organizations in Germany, and you will find collections that have been posted on secondary sites like Ancestry.com and Family Search Historical Records. Hessen is a state in Germany that has placed all of its Standesamt records online. Hopefully in the future, more and more states will do this. As more records come online, the wiki will always add instructions. I'm going to use the Logus system of Hessen Vital Records to just show you an example of how one of those websites works. This simple search will take you to a list of files of original images. The time periods are all over the place. You come over on the right and click a term of years. It will narrow it down. Notice that each file covers one year. Geburts means births, Heirats means marriages, and Sterben are deaths. By selecting a link, you will come to the original records for that event and that year. They are not indexed. There are two indexes that are available to for these records. One is through Ancestry.com and the other is through Family Search. A province page will also have links to the microfilm copies of records available through Family Search. Microfilms for these records are no longer rented out to family history centers, but there is a plan to digitize all of them, so you will need to see if yours are digitized and keep checking back. You click on the link and it takes you to the state. You click on places within the state. You choose a town and it will show whether civil registration records are available. Here are the titles of the records. Each leads to a description. A record description it will show you the events and the time period. It will tell you that it is available in digitized form with this camera and the magnifying class indicates that the record has been indexed. Clicking on the magnifying glass will take you to the index. Clicking on the camera will take you to the digitized images. If the Standesamt records you need are not available online, you can write and request certificates. In the 1970s, the offices for towns were merged with the larger municipalities. Every Germany province page gives you the process for finding your current Standesamt. You go to the German Wikipedia and enter your town name. You will know your town is too small to have its own office if this sentence mentions that it is part of a municipality. Click on the link to the municipality. Once you find the municipality, over here on the right in the info bar, you will find the municipal administration address. Copy this address. On your province page, you will find this standard form for addressing a letter. Here's the information I found in the Wikipedia for Adermunda. I just substitute the street name 
and the postal code in the town, and there is the address I will write to. Next, on the province page, you will find the link to a German letter writing guide. And the final video in this series will teach you how to use that German letter writing guide to write for a record in the German language. You now need to watch this class, German Church and Civil Records, by Dr. Fritz Jungling. He will spend a whole hour teaching you how to simplify the reading of these records by knowing which chunks of the records you actually have to pay attention to. He teaches you how to filter out parts you can ignore and focus on the parts that are really going to help with genealogy. You'll find that using this method really increases your confidence in your ability to read these records. The link for this class will be in the notes below this video. The link to the class is also found on the Germany Genealogy main page under Germany Research Tools. Instead of using this tiny format at the top, download the video so that it shows on your full screen. You'll be able to see the records much easier that way. Now you try it. Find the original Standesamt of your ancestor's town. Check the province page to see any links for online records. Look in the Family Search catalog for the availability of microfilmed and or digitized records. If it will be necessary for you to write letters, determine the current Standesamt for your town. If you will need to write a letter for a record, watch part 14 of this video series to learn how to write the letter in German. Watch German Civil and Church Records for more in-depth training on reading the records.